Hi, welcome to this week's art project. Today we are going to be decorating some pots. Remember in our story of Jesus turning the water into wine that Jesus went and there were some big clay vessels that he had the servants fill with water and then he turned that water into the wine. So we're going to look at a few um, clay vessels that were from the time of Jesus. Here is one. Look down at the bottom and see what you can see. What kind of images did they put on this pot? And we'll look even closer. See there? Two fish and a cross. So those are some Christian symbols. Now we're going to move up on our, move to the next image. And in this one, they have a star, and that's the six-cornered star, which I believe is called the Star of David. And that would be, um, Jesus grew up in a Jewish household, and that would be a Jewish symbol that's on this one. At the time of Jesus, besides um, vessels, they also made mosaics. And you can see that a mosaic is an image that's made up by gluing down all sorts of tiny tiles or stones of different colors to make an image. And here's another mosaic, and this one shows the basket with the loaves and the fish. So that would be the story of another one of Jesus' miracles, which we'll study later this year. Okay, but you can see how they put the different colored tiles together to make the image of a fish. When you open up your package for October 4th, inside you'll find a small bottle of tacky glue and you'll find some pieces of mosaic in a bag and you'll find a small clay pot. Now, when you open your tacky glue, you're going to need to get a mom or a dad or a grandparent um, to cut the end off your tacky glue because it's sealed until they cut this end piece off. Please don't do that yourself, okay? There are different lines on the lid of the tacky glue. I just cut the one highest to the top so that I would have a little hole. If there's not enough glue coming down, um, I cut at the first ring. You can cut at the second ring and more glue will come out. But cut at the first ring first and see if you're getting enough glue flow before you cut lower because it'll be neater for the children. Greens and I've got quite a few oranges. Now I can even start to arrange things here. I can think, I think I might like to make a cross on mine. So I could try to arrange and figure out, well, if I wanted a, a, a yellow cross, I could probably do it like that. Now, I also have to look at how much space I have, and in this case, I'm not even sure I have quite enough space to get my yellow cross on here. So I can even set them on here first and try to look and see if I'm going to have enough space to do what I want to do here. And I guess if I put one on the top rim and put two here, I could get my I could get a cross shape. Okay? So I'm going to do that. So the way I'm going to start is I'm just going to put a little dot of glue on um, my little glass tile and then I'm going to set it where I want it and I have to be careful not to knock my pieces off as I'm going. Okay. Then I'm going to set another piece of tile right here. Okay. And I'm going to set another piece. And I'm going to put one more piece right there. So you can either put the glue on the tile or the glue on here, but I'm not, I'm just putting a little dot. I'm not squirting the glue all over the place and making a huge mess, okay? We don't need that much to make it hold and make it work, okay? With this kind of glue we're using. Okay, so now you see I made a little cross with that. And I think that I am going to then go around my cross with some different colors of blue. And if one of these slides a little, you can just gently push it back while the glue is still wet. Okay. I 
made a few dots so I could put a few pieces on. And I'm going to mix my blues while I go around this. Because they're um, squares, they kind of, you know, they easily fit together to make your little design. Oopsie. And I'm just kind of choosing pieces the way I think that they'll look good, okay, as I go around. So see how my cross is starting to really show up because I've got it surrounded by another color and I can see it really well. And you don't have to do a cross on yours. You could do um, something different if you want. Maybe you want to make a fish on yours. Maybe you just want to make yours a design and it's not. it doesn't really have a certain image. That's okay too. Just something pretty the way that you arrange your tiles or interesting or exciting looking. I think I'm going to switch. No, I'm going to take this one off and I'm going to use one that's this color right here. Okay. So you can, while it's wet, you can still correct something if you don't really like it and you want it to look a little different, okay? So there's my cross on this side. And then maybe, um, maybe I'm going to go on on the other side. I might want to just stop now for a little while and let my cross dry if I can't be really careful to knock it off the thing. But on the other side, I think I'm just going to actually start here and I'm going to continue just making a design, I think now, because I've got my cross. So I think I'm going to, and I don't know how many, how far my tiles are going to go. So I'm going to make, start by making a design that has just a ring that kind of goes around the pot here, I think. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to vary my colors and I'm going to go all the way. I think I'm going to make one line first, actually. See if I can get all the way around with one line. And if I can, then I, maybe I'll add a second line once I know how many tiles I have. So I'm just putting a dot here. And I might have to speed this up so you guys don't get bored watching. I guess, and see if one sort of slides a little bit, move it back up so that it doesn't get out of place, okay? And then I'll do a blue one. I'm just putting little dots on there. I'm just varying my colors. Look at that. I finished my design and you know what? I don't even have one extra tile. So I kind of used the right amount for what I needed to do. So here's my pot. I did a cross on that side and then I did a little row that goes all the way around. Now I'm going to set it down and I'm just going to look really carefully to make sure that none of mine are sliding. And just, and I think that because I have this little ridge here, I'm just going to turn mine over while it dries and set it upside down because this little ridge here is going to keep these pieces from sliding down. Okay? And my other ones are dry enough. So I'm going to just leave it here while it dries. And you can see it's just it's got its nice little cross on that side. So you can make yours with whatever design you want to do. I'm looking, and if you can take a picture of yours and email it to me at church, I would be so excited to see what you make, to see your finished products, okay? Have a good week!